today is Saturday and me and Clayton are going to his grandma's house which is outside of the city it's not here and later tonight we're also going to like a Brazilian party right yeah so I look forward to that and I was just telling Clayton like see these green areas they have like all the buildings here is like building building green area building building playground but there is like just a bunch of old people living here so there's no kids, no one's using the green areas, which is like a waste of perfect space. Look at these guys, all of this is empty. And it's a Saturday morning, so people should be out playing, doing something. I think it's because this is like a federal district, and it's just a bunch of business people, bureaucrats and politicians, and the people that work underneath them, like paper pushers. So they don't actually go out and that's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure. That building right there, guys, even though it doesn't look like anything, that's a church. Which goes with like all the architecture. All the architecture here is like very there's a name for it, I don't know about it, but like see the bus bus stop right there? I mean the metro is like very concrete, very flat. I don't know, I'll get back to that, but the construction here reminds me of like the 60s or the 70s, how they used to think people will live in the future. That's what this looks like. I guess so here we are where uh, Clayton's grandma lives. And there's the temple, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but they do, uh, they're Christians, but they're spiritual, spir spiritualism, which I've never heard about. But there's a lot of them here in uh, Brazil. But look at it, it's very colorful. I believe this is one of the religions that start when Christianism comes to, or Catholics, Catholics come to a country and they convert everyone, but some of their beliefs get mixed with the Christian beliefs, so I believe this is what it is. So here's Jesus, and there's a temple, and still not sure how to explain it to you guys. Spiritualism is, uh, I gotta read up on it, because in Cuiabá and in Porto Velo, they also believe in it, so I gotta understand what they're talking about. There's no video? Oh. Crystal. Yes. So guys, we're here in the, in the restaurant next to the, the temple. And sorry about the quality, but my camera ran out of battery, so I'm filming with my cell phone. We were having uh, this, uh, the usual... This, this is uh, chicken and palm meat. Mm -hmm. it, uh, we are... This is cheese, cheese and banana. banana. But uh, I want to really talk about this religion they have here, because it's a little bit of everything. It's like a little bit of uh, Christianism, a little bit of Scientology, a little bit of uh, Mormon. A little bit of just like Native Americans. Like, if you guys see that picture right there, that's a Native American. So they they have everything here, and they also have like uh, kind of like Middle Eastern. I don't know what they are. Now. So it's a very interesting religion. Which I would like to learn more about because even the people they dress like Indians. Like some of the women were were wearing like saris. So they use like everything. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. So again, sorry for the shakiness of the camera, you guys. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see that dress right there. And this guy coming up right here. Look, look at his, uh, his costume. Not his costume, but like his robes. Check it out, guys. They have like even more stuff around here. Look at the party. I'm 
So you guys know there's a party going on tonight, so that's why all the kids are dressing up. They have a pyramid. Like I told you, they have a lot of things mixed together. There's this lake, and there's symbols all around it. And then if you guys can see on top of that mountain right there, or that hill, there is a symbol up there too. This little kid. They're all dressed up for tonight. Oh, okay. This is the people in the in the dress mm -hmm. rotation. Look at the move. Mm -hmm. Look at the move. The, um, look at the move. Have you accepted your spirit? Para ahora va a comenzar el trabajo. Pero si quieres conocer, pero después podemos ver. There's a whole thing that's gonna happen, but we can't see it because you know you gotta be part of it. Well, those are like uh, beds and then seats. The men lay on the bed and the women sit next to them and then they do like a ritual. I'm not really sure guys, but this looks very, very interesting. So guys, we are now with Clayton's grandma and her place. Uh, she's a very nice lady. She's uh, 75 and she's always smiling, always laughing. And that's the grand grandson and grandmother. <laughs> and oh. she's uh, she made this cake right here, yes. which is yes. nice. <laughs> we're just gonna have coffee here. Hi <laughs> uh, guys, we're coming to this Colegio La Salle, which is where he works, where Clayton works. And I guess there's a party for students. So this, I'm borrowing this shirt from his roommate because it's supposed to be country. I guess this is country. This yours? Is your? Holy crap! So apparently this is like a school. It's for students. Something's for teachers, like students and their parents. And it's so packed in here. It's a private school. Oh yeah, and the theme is country, so everyone's wearing like country clothes. It's a very famous song right now in Brazil. 